Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be. I'd like to demonstrate to you a very powerful feature in Excel, which is not often used, but you'll see that uh, as an advanced feature, you can save a lot of time and effort in uh, analysing data. Uh, the data we have here is a, a product, some units, how much they are each, and we want to work out what the total sales value is with one formula. That is, we want to multiply each item from the units to the price and then get a sum of those sales as the example. Um, furthermore, down here you'll see that we can also use some product uh, in a similar way to VLOOKUP by isolating data, for example, the laptops, and we can see what the total value is. Now there are a couple of rules involved. Uh, first of all, there must be the same number of rows in each of the columns. Some product in its basic form uses arrays. In Windows, as we'll see, you use Control Shift Enter to create an array. If you're using an Apple, you use Command Shift and Enter and any text that might be in columns are treated as zeros for calculation purposes. So let's see how it works. First of all, I want to find the total sales value of these products. So in the formula bar, I see that the formula is equal to some product and then the uh, columns involved and then I press Control Shift Enter for Windows or Command Shift Enter for an Apple. So I'm going to delete that particular formula and let's just type it in the cell. So we say equal some product, open a bracket, and then we want to use that particular data followed by a comma and then that data. Then we close the bracket and control shift enter and there we see that the curly brackets have been inserted around the data in the formula indicating that I'm using an array. Now uh, if I want to isolate one of the items here as I normally do in, in VLOOKUP However, in VLOOKUP, there will be a rather more involved formula than the one that we're about to use because here, in this cell, I see that if I just wanted to see the laptops, then my formula will be equal sum product, open brackets. Now I'm going to look in B7 to B10 and equal laptops. Because there's text involved, I enclose it in double quotes and close that bracket and then I multiply C7 to C10 by D7 to D10 close that bracket to balance the brackets and when I press enter in this case I see that the laptops have been uh, isolated for uh, analysis sake. If I wanted to check for example not laptops but printers enclosing the text of course in double quotes and press enter there I see 4410 which is the product of that cell and that cell so that's how we can use some product it's very powerful it does save a lot of time uh, it's a feature which is uh, not often used uh, because uh, many people use VLOOKUP for situations like this one down here uh, and then they have to uh, enter other uh, formulas uh, to get the answer. So uh, I won't say it's a shortcut but it's the best nearest thing to it. So hopefully you can use some product in your spreadsheets and um, uh, you'll find that it is very, very easy after a, uh, after a while you get used to it. Remember, practice is the name of the game. Thank you so much for watching. 
See you next time. Bye for now.